In this video, I want to show you how I use Synthesia AI to build my own custom AI avatars. Now, Synthesia offers two different types of AI avatars with your webcam or with your camera, which they call it studio avatars. The process is slightly different. I'm going to show you both. <laughs> If we haven't met, it's Faye. This is part of my series I call Learn AI With Me. You should also know before we get started that the equipment I have is my webcam is from Logitech, is the Brio 4K webcam, pretty sharp. Now the camera I have is about four years or five years old at this point. It's Sony 6400 mirrorless. I like it very much still. Lighting is very important. Turn on the lights in your room face the window where there's natural sunlight, or like me, I'm using two studio lights from Elgato. I absolutely love the company and I find their light to be really high quality. And I try to brighten myself up during these video recordings so it's not super dim. For a list of tools and resources I've mentioned so far, you can find them in the description below. Before we get started, let me say a few things about custom AI avatars. You may be wondering, do I really need them? Well, certainly they are optional because if you're familiar with Synthesia AI, it comes with 150 AI avatars. They're well lit, they're really good, different outfits, ethnicities, there's just so much to choose from. But if you're running a company, you feel like you want to feature someone from the company, may even be yourself, that you want to turn into a custom avatar you can reuse, or perhaps you want to hire actors and actresses that you really like, uh, to really represent your company, to make it even more engaging, you should consider custom avatars. What about AI voices? A lot of people ask me about whether they should record custom AI voices, meaning training their voices so it sounds realistic and it's in line with the avatars that they're gonna be using. I learned in the past few weeks that some people actually prefer not to train their own voices for privacy reasons. And on top of that, when you're using one of these pre-trained, pre-made AI voices from within Synthesia platform, you actually can easily translate the videos that you're creating into over a hundred different languages. I find that to be super trippy, so I'm gonna show you an example as well. I even love hearing my own voice in Mandarin Chinese, which is my native language, and I can also hear myself speak Spanish, for example. If you're looking to create corporate videos, definitely consider Synthesia, test out their custom avatars, I created this video just for you. I'm gonna see you at the end of this video. All right, so I'm excited to show you what my studio avatar looks like. So here is me. Let me play that again. Hello, this is a preview of what your video will look like. Click the create button to get started. What I'm also excited to see, even though I know it's not my voice, but because of that, I'm able to very quickly translate it and dub it in different languages. So here's how I sound in German. I'm excited. Hallo. Das ist eine Vorschau, wie Ihr Video aussehen wird. Klicken Sie die erstellen Schaltfläche, um zu beginnen. Wow, let's check out Spanish. Hola. Esta es una vista previa de cómo se verá tu video. Haz clic en el botón crear para comenzar. So here comes Italian. Ciao. Questa è un'anteprima di come sarà il tuo video. By the way, I am pretty excited about the different languages. This is full screen. All right, let's go ahead and create a video. So I am front and center, but once again, I feel like to remind people, like I may not need to take up the entire screen. I may just be in a corner somewhere, so I have more space to work with for my slides. Again, that's totally up to you. In fact, I'm gonna keep it pretty simple. I literally went to Synthesia's custom avatar. I'm gonna just copy that question and answer there and see how I sound. So to do that, all I have to do is drop the copy in here. Let me go ahead and add a voice. So here I'm going to choose select a voice. And if I want to choose English for now, I can choose United States. And you can choose a different voice profiles. You have announcer, booming, bright, calm. And I'm going to just, you know, also you can preview any sound. What is a custom avatar? A custom avatar is a realistic digital version of- You can pause it at any time as well. Here's calm. What is a custom avatar? A custom avatar- All right, so compassionate, customer service, commercial, clear. Let's try that out. What is a custom avatar? A custom avatar is a realistic- 
All right, let's just do the clear one. So once I decide on that, I will click into it. And now in order for me to hear how it goes, I won't just click the play button. I will need to generate that. What is a custom avatar? All right, let's see how it goes. So in order just for demonstration only purposes, I can do this. I can also add in design elements, literally building out slides here. So just to show you, add some text, title, subtitle. You can also import your own PowerPoint slides, literally, instead of building everything from scratch here in Synthesia, you can import your slides, whether it's Google Slides, PowerPoint, Keynotes, drop them in, and then you can add your voice. But I want, I do want to demonstrate like what it looks like. And here, so that's my title. Once it's done, all right, I just dropped in this little image. I can move it around. I can resize it. With that said, I'm going to just hit generate without doing anything else and see what happens. So test studio avatar. We don't need captions and hit generate. So now you can see your output and it says from 15 minutes. Now we have four minutes remaining. While this is compiling, I'm going to show you what the uh, webcam avatar will look like. So to get started with webcam avatars, really simple. I again, go back to the avatar menu on the left hand side and all right, I'm going to hover over to my uh, webcam avatar. Same thing. I can also preview it if I choose to. Let's take a look. Hello. This is a preview of what your video will look like. Click the create button to get started. Let's take a look at the German version. Hallo. Das ist eine Vorschau, wie Ihr Video aussehen wird. Klicken Sie die erstellen Schaltfläche, um zu beginnen. All right, I was moving my arms a little bit, which is as one of the recommended, you know, best practices. Don't move your upper body and certainly don't move your arms too much or above your chest level. So I am going to also copy and paste the script and same script and see what happens. The process is almost identical. I'm going to just drop in my script here and you can see that the webcam after is already selected and I'm going to use the same accent, same style, very clear. And I'm going to move myself a little bit. I can move myself down a bit more if I choose to. Okay. looks like everything is saved now. Let's try that again. So this is going to take about four minutes. Meanwhile, our test studio avatar is done in it's 20 seconds and let's play that together. You click on this project. What is a custom avatar? A custom avatar is a realistic digital version of yourself designed in the same style as our stock avatars. They capture your unique likeness with custom avatars. You can create personalized videos in 120 languages. Great. So I recorded this with, um, you know, some practice of a teleprompter. I'm not someone where like, I'm not a creator constantly using teleprompter, but when I prepared the script, I had to. So when I, if I were to recreate my uh, custom avatar is something I have to train myself. I want to make sure my eyes are more focused in the center directly towards the camera. But in general, I would say this is doable and I don't expect really the AI avatar to look and sound exactly like me. Um, so meanwhile, let's take a look at our webcam avatars. What is a custom avatar? A custom avatar is a realistic digital version of yourself designed in the same style as our stock avatars. They capture your unique likeness with custom avatars. You can create personalized videos in 120 languages. I would say, you know, if uh, the webinar avatar took a, a lot shorter to produce compared to the studio avatar, then I would say this is quite doable. I, it looks fairly natural to me. I remember when I was preparing the script, I think I was looking down at the script a bit more. Um, if I had used a teleprompter, I probably would look more natural. Um, with that said, to be honest, I moderate regularly. And sometimes when I'm talking about business content and context and I tend to look at the script a bit more. So I think that is something that people are used to clearly, especially when you're presenting like a PowerPoint, there are chances that you are reading something from the PowerPoint as opposed to being a TED talk, if that makes sense. So in terms of the studio avatar, I would say 
that in terms of my skin tone is something that I may end up color correcting a little bit. Thank you so much for watching the video till the end. I hope you find it helpful. If there are any comments, questions, I welcome them in the comments below. We do check and respond to them on a regular basis. If you like this video or perhaps you're looking for something different, other tutorials I created related to Synthesia, including how to get started, I'm going to list them right here. So I'll see you right over there. Thank <music> you.